Um, this is how to replace the front discs and pads on a Saab 9000, this is a 1995. It's a very similar procedure for the rear. We start off by taking the caps, hot caps off. Pretty straightforward. 19mm socket. What I like to do is I like to loosen them up first before I jack the car up, so it just makes it much easier once it's on the ground. straight off the disc and pad and yeah as you can see it's uh, pretty old so yeah needs uh needs changing these are new discs for the front because they come with this wax substance on them you want to sort of uh, whack them with a bit of a degreaser just to get rid of it so that you haven't got any problems when you're when you break it so you want to do this somewhere else so what we want to start off with is to remove the metal here Holds the counter together. I'm not gonna touch the camera with it carefully, but around the back we have um, this plastic part that you need to get to. The little cap like that comes off. You get to come to that. Just two, one at the top, one at the bottom. You'll see them pretty easy. So that gets the caliper off. So after we've removed those plastic plugs, we're gonna take seven mil hex gear, put them in where that plug came out to undo, start to undo the caliper. Do that and just put a rag around it. Um, I think that your fluid is quite high and it might spill over. What we want to do now is remove this part. So what you need is this 19 mil socket again, and there's two uh, bolts back here. Yes. Take it with these holes. and one is actually, uh, it's got nothing on the back. So that goes, so they go like that. And there are tools, such as this one, to help you push that uh, caliper back. So what you want to do, maybe get the old pad, put it back in, so you can push it back. Push it back all the way, make those room. Loosen it up. Push it 
Vamos ver Desde el pad. The new pad in, what you can do. The product called uh, Copperies or the various brands. It sort of helps you take your buff off easier. And next time it also stops the squeal. So what you do, you just apply a touch of this where the pad will touch any metal part. So on the back part here, and this pack that usually is the plate, it tells you where to go. Just put a touch of this on the back. And it should, it says it stops any brake squeal, but who knows if it actually works. What we want to do is mount this part back on. So I'll just fit it out. So yeah, you gotta mount this on and then we'll put the caliper back on. So this is what took those uh, big 90mm uh, bolts, these ones here. So some people, what they do, they can also put some uh, copperies on this or brake squeal on this, just helps you, helps them take them out easier next time so it don't get stuck. I'm just going to do a little bit tight and then uh, at the end I'll use my torque wrench, I'll torque them correctly. Okay, there's two ways of doing this. Another place, this other pad here already. You put the caliper on top, or some people like to place it uh, already on the caliper and slide it all on. Uh, any of these contact points here, here, on, on the outside of here, you want to put some of this uh, squeal, brake squeal. Producer, so yeah, just around here, and the contact point, which is like around here. That's just where it touches in the car. And uh, the bolts are back, and I'm trying to push them back as much as I can, just so that it slides on easier. So with these bolts at the back, it just needs to be pushed right back before you push it right back, and this should slide on. Now these bolts at the back, just push them back in and tighten them up. You don't have a torque figure, I believe. Just tight. Good. Sometimes it's a bit hard to align them up. Just one last check. I should put a true tight. Really important, because we've done this before, don't forget these dust plugs that cover those uh, bolts at the back. Just one at the top, one at the bottom. And uh, now you refit the road wheel, four bolts go in there, and these are torqued to about 120 newton meters, and you're set to go. So I'll give this uh, one last clean, it's got a bit of grease from me touching it, and, and uh, then we're set to go. And the other side is just the same. The only difference with the rears is that there's a, a little metal dust cap, uh, but you've got to you know, release that thing to 14 mil, it's right in the middle of the caliper. Without that, the calipers won't release the pressure, so you, you just can't fit it back on. But this one is really easy, just with this tool, I was able to just push it back. I was just able to push it back. Uh, but with the rear, there's no way you can do that. So you have to uh, release this dust plug, and then with that, there's a little uh, oh, X, uh, not inside, and you just release that, and it just releases the pressure. And then you, uh, when you fit this back again, uh, you just want to tighten it just so tight enough that you can't turn the disc by hand. But that's up the rear. It's a really simple procedure. Alright, uh, I'm just going to refit this uh, world wheel and then uh, that's it. Cool, thanks for watching.